Thank you for tuning in to Androna Talks Radio. Gathering as one in our sovereign truth from a galactic perspective. Exploring our world with new ideas, knowledge and a promise of a better future. Galactic discussions for collective minded people. Androna Talks. everyone and thank you for joining us today on Andrana Talks Radio. And we have Anthony Zender with us. He is a super soldier and he is a very spiritual individual. He is an author of a few books, I believe. And um, he is also part of Unit 374 with the ACIO and one of the associates. And without further delay, we're going to bring in Anthony Zender. Hello, Anthony. Thank you. Yeah, hello, hello, Jessica. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, it's it's definitely been <laughs> it's been a while since I've actually done um, any sort of uh, interviews and stuff. I've I've taken a, a hiatus from that. Um, so uh, since that time, you know, obviously a lot's happened, <laughs> and and like multidimensionally, and and you know, um, I'm just like. Uh, <clears throat> going through the experience of uh just being able to uh know what's going on and figure out uh what's happening and uh that actually uh that led me um you know to uh writing you know my book uh once i uh woke up in 2012 um that was when i i started like uh i really started awakening and uh at that time you know um i would always been able to remember my dreams and uh and uh understanding that like i obviously searched for um you know explanations <laughs> of, of of uh what was happening there and uh you know having the um ufo experiences the um all the metaphysical experiences that that no one was really explaining you know i i i searched uh, to 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 find out like uh, you know which is uh, which is the 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 quest for the Grail, which I found out that that's what um, that is, and uh, that uh, it's a uh, it's um the quest for the Grail is actually uh, a a, uh, a the the hero's journey um, is is actually uh, the quest for the Grail and. Um, I found out about the hero's journey um, through finding the Illuminati, like the enlightened ones. And um, the original I found, before they got corrupted. What's that? Like the original ones. Oh, there, there's the good ones and the bad. Well, the original, right, right, the, Illumina right. the illumined ones means that you're enlightened and you have information. And then the negatives came in and started referring to themselves as the, the illumined ones because they were on the inside of what was going on regarding world domination. That is, yeah, that is correct. They, uh, you know, uh, that got corrupted. Um, but, but the Illuminati, the real enlightened ones, have always remained throughout history and all millennia. And they have been the actual ones that have always stood against the elite and the dynastic families and uh, the celebrities, the monarchies, uh, the bankers. Um, all the ones that people know as the Illuminati, um, mm -hmm. that's not actually the Illuminati. The Illuminati have always been the secret society that has remained throughout uh, time that has always stood against them. They've been responsible for, you know, uh, the revolutions like the French and American revolutions in the past because the whole the whole premise of of an actual uh, new world order is actually been reversed because that they the elite and the cabal they they put out information misinformation to keep uh people from uh getting to the actual truth which i i i i went past the uh um the the miss um 
uh, the misinformation um, of the internet and actually found the Illuminati in 2016. Um, they actually came out with a, a site, and then um, when I when I found it, I knew I I was fine. I found what I was looking for because they uh, addressed every single um, uh, issue, uh, um, religious, political, economic, um, uh, psychological, educational. Um, you know. Uh, Every every issue they they address and then they had the answer and and the solution to every everything <laughs> and and they actually had a uh, I, I still have the document because I I study it every day um, because they they and they, have, they they really do have the answers to everything and they came out with them in 2016 and so part of my um, uh, uh, mission has been to uh, take all the things that I'm learning from that book and and talk about them and I'm like uh, the just the all, all of the um, because it is actually I found through being enlightened that this is the future that's coming in this is the type one civilization uh, this is the the Star Trek future that we are actually going to have and and uh, that's actually what a new world order is a new world order is not the old world order, not the globalization um, um, extended further. That that was a term that they that they took, um, and they they were able to um, put it out on the internet to make people not know what an actual new world order was, like to fear a new world order. But a new world order is actually what's actually happening right now. Yeah, no, I, I get exactly what you were saying, and and here's a little you know piece of trivia. The first radio show I was ever on was the Illuminati Network. And this gentleman opened it up from New Hampshire. We were on for a little while and it got shut down. So any of the shows that I had on there prior to uh, prior to going to Wolf Spirit Radio, this is what we're, we're talking going back to around 2012, 2013 when I started doing it. But it was the Illuminati Radio. And it was a talking piece because people would say, Oh, you're you know you're with the Illuminati, and I'd say no. This is very interesting, and and you're exactly right, Anthony. Um, the concept and the idea was actually hijacked. It was taken. Yes, that that's the main point of and, of the uh, whole conspiracy, like like that I actually found because the word Illuminati has been tainted, and that that I actually found was a uh, part of finding the Grail was getting past all that information is part of the things that set up that allows you to go into further understanding. Um, and I was able to get past that. And then um, I found I found the Illuminati who are actually the enlightened ones. And um, there, you know, there, ha there have been um, uh, people that, that, that actually, one of them, his name is Wes Penry. If you know who Wes Penry is, the name sounds familiar. Yeah, he, he, he wrote the five levels of learning. Um, so it's it's uh, a very important just just he wrote out all the metaphysical stuff. But he actually came into contact with them. And then he hit and he had always painted the Illuminati as the dark ones, you know, in his studies. Um, but then he was actually one of the ones that was able to come to the light, you know, and 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 actually find the Illuminati which I, I, I have done too, because um, they, that right off the bat, um, they, they say, okay, uh, uh, with, with religion, they, they hold uh, the religion of Illuminism or Illumination, which is a Gnostic religion, which is the antidote for uh, the Abrahamic religions of Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, because mm -hmm. those are actually, when, and these are secrets that they reveal right off the bat though, because, um, what I, what I actually know was I was a Christian, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, but I, and I, I believe in God. So that was where I, I went to was Christianity. Um, but, um, I obviously had more, of uh, you know, studying Buddhists and Hinduism and all of them. I was like, okay, um, what's, what's, what is in them all in, in its illumination. Um, but with, with, with Christianity, I learned that it was an Abrahamic religion which is 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 all based on um Abraham 
and and Abraham hearing a voice to kill his uh, son. Mm -hmm. You know, and and so and and obviously, if you if you're a Christian or Abrahamist, you're going to be like, oh well, he was you know just obeying obeying God, you know. But it's like, what God would tell you to kill your son? (laughs) Right, right. Even even that's even if it was even if it wasn't to follow through with it. The whole idea is uh, during that time there were child child sacrifices, even still today. You know, you hear about fringe groups doing things like that, but that that was a concept that was very common in those days, where you know they would refer to them as the pagan group or or whichever group that was doing these type of practices. So when he, he was asked to follow through with that, he knew what that meant. But I want to hear what your your interpretation mm-hmm. of that. Yeah, it's you know because it, it's every point um they they really do explain and i've i've been studying you know a lot to understand um because i I want to understand and um that that was the thing is um they they point out because the the abrahamic religions are are like the reason for all are actually the satanic religions like the books are are actually the greatest works of 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 satan (laughs) you know of of and of the demurge so it's I, I understood like part of being able to be enlightened is getting over the Abrahamic religions of Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, um, which are all based on Abraham. Um, so it's based um, on Abraham, but it also goes back to uh, Zoroastrianism, and Zoroaster actually interacted with Abraham and explained to him the whole concept of duality. And so the duality didn't exist in ancient Judaism. It started to come in through Zoroastrianism. And so you have all of these influences that come in. So um, it, it kind of moved um, beliefs, beliefism, you know, throughout our, our ages, through time. Um, constantly adding little inserted ideas and twists to it. So here again, you have the Bible, which has some really great wisdom, but then also here again, the flip, right? So you turn upside down. Um, you know, like I, I met someone years ago who heard me on the radio once um, on like local radio and he deliberately came to visit me. He was from South America. He goes, you know, he goes, the difference, he goes, the things that you don't understand is that they can t- say that they're Christian, but they take the cross and turn it upside down. And uh, so he was explaining to me how some of the practices are in which you know incorporate or introduce an energy of of negativity into something for um or to encourage the darker forces to come up and, and assist in the work so you have something that is a neutral thing say um um an artifact or um or just a, a book or uh, the bible or something like that say it's neutral and can be used for the good or for the bad like you said used um for the taken then altered and then now you have these other books that are conjuring in something different under um satanism or what what have you right but still it's, sort it's of- part of the it's part of the the mass mind control you know it it, it is and uh so that's I, i've learned that's part of how uh, the, the abrahamic religions are going to fail you know because the illuminati know this already because um through uh they they explain the the purpose of the universe and everything like so it's like through dialectical teleological evolution which means there there's an end and a purpose to everything which is actually our evolution um because what i i i also read was the universe is like a god factory it's making it's it, it's it, through evolution it's making us uh become god you know, through reincarnation, that's what reincarnation, the, all the reincarnations for mm-hmm. and stuff, um, for, because I remember I rem- that's that. And that was where I had to question, too, um, because it's all about questioning authority and stuff. Um, and, and the religion is part of that, because what I what happened to me was I, I started remembering my past lives. And so I started ha- remembering reincarnation. So I was like, well, why doesn't Christianity talk about reincarnation or anything? So I couldn't I couldn't go along with uh, any religion that doesn't uh, teach reincarnation. But, you know, it does. You know? 
does, can I just tell you where? Okay, okay, yeah. Because Jesus was said he was the son, or is related to the, being the son of David. In a sense, it's like he's saying he remembers who he was. Because David was from many, many generations before. That's just one example. There's other okay, examples. Okay, 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 okay. I, 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 that, that resonates. I, I, I but, um, Jesus, yeah, I mean, reincarnation is definitely. Where did uh, Jesus go? Needs, when you, needs, where did Jesus go before he came out to the masses? According to history, he went to the East. He was active mm -hmm. and understood the practices of the East with um, right. India and, and Asia. The, 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 lost, the lost years. The, the yeah. lost years. And he understood and, fully about reincarnation. And, and even, and, and I mean, I know that he went to Egypt too, which is part of, you know, mm -hmm. part of a, a experience. I mean, because I'm, I'm having so much come back, but part of uh, an experience that I had was, you know, because I know Jesus went through the same initiations that that I went through in that life too, because I remember the initiations. I remember being in like actually the the pyramid, and I remember um, actually being. Um, I had a memory come back where I was in a a cold, dark chamber in the pyramid. And um, and I just uh, I came to and I was in this cold, dark chamber and I knew I was in the pyramid. Um, and then actually what happened was I knew this was part of the initiations was um, you, you have they have to build you up, you know, enough to be able to to, to sit, you know, in, in dark chambers and stuff. Um, but I actually remember in that in that memory, I started levitating <laughs> and I, I lit up. I just started glowing and I and I started levitating um, and. I know that that these were part of being in the the mystery schools um, because on when my, all my uh, past lives started coming back, um, you know, being a Knight Templar was uh, one thing that came to me, and then and then I actually had a, a memory come back uh, to 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 associate uh, actually having a life there, and I was I was in uh, getting sieged. I was in the middle of a siege. I was in this castle. And uh, this, the, the castle was getting sieged. And I remember the flaming rocks coming through. And I was like, holy crap, I'm going to die. Like, I'm going to die here. And uh, so that, that was, you know, part of the, the reincarnation, which is, is a, an important fact to bring up with uh, what's happening with our awakening. Because um, I believe that more and more, as consciousness um, uh, gets more, um, because the, you know, the, the, that's what's happening. Uh, people's uh, pineal glands and stuff are going to open up more. Yeah. Uh, everybody's going to start remembering dreams and stuff. They're going to have questions about what they're remembering. And, um, you know, everybody in the society of the future, like everybody's got access to, you know, the Akashic records and stuff. Um, so that's what I see is, is we're in, you know, we're back in time now, but you know, it's, that's what I, I see happening. <laughs> I've, I've worked with people that felt like they had no psychic, no spiritual connection whatsoever. And I had a small meditation group and people that didn't believe in any of this were strongly religious, said that they were afraid of it. And I just told them, I said, we're just going to relax. They were absolutely amazing how psychic they became or how open and the recall and visions that they were having were unbelievable. And if you had met them a few years before, you never would have believed that they could open up in that way. And when I'm given permission at some point in the future, I'll start doing that again. I was just... Um, you have to be careful. You have to really, because when you be careful when you're working with people, because when they start to open up, um, sometimes they freak out because like your example, you know, you're, <laughs> you're recalling that you're in this incident, you know, um, uh, that it was life threatening. I had this um, one individual, we did a regression and he was, um, somewhere like he was like a um a british settler that came over to the us around the east coast in the region where i live and then he um saw that he 
was left behind by his crew. Like the, the boat had left him. He was young. And then he saw a, another group of settlers come in and they slaughtered a bunch of native people that helped him. And he's here. He is. He's like crying. He's like overwhelmed by the whole experience. It's so real to people when you awaken that subconscious recall. And I had to help him through this. And it's a very, very um, serious thing when you're working with the subconscious mind, because it's it encapsulates a whole personal history of that individual soul. And that's a very sacred space. People take it lightly sometimes like, oh, yeah, I did a regression here. I did. Be careful what you're doing when you're working with people. You'll be accountable for, you know, harming anything related to their soul. But um, on an individual basis, I went through the process myself. I had multiple um, regressions. I did a lot of um, Akashic readings and things that, you know, when I first opened up way before I started even working with people. So I understood pretty much who I was before I stepped out to be able to help others. A lot of people don't do that work yet. They <laughs> need to do that work. If you're going to work with them, know who you are before you're working with others, not, oh, I'm, I was the king or I was, it's not about title. It's about experience, what you learned. So if you learned something in each lifetime, you're taking that with you and it reminds you that to never do that again. Cause then you kind of, it, it shifts whatever has happened. But anyhow, I didn't mean to go off on that. Um, you know, no, those are good points. Uh, you know, I think it's important to be talking about, you know, the word, this is talking about reincarnation is important, you know, um, and then all the points you uh, talked about are important, too, because, you know, when I had my Kundalini awakening, um, I, I definitely it happened spontaneously. But, you know, afterwards, that's when uh, everything started flooding in, you know, and um, I know that this is happening, you know, for me, when it happened, uh, you know, because it's going to be happening for everybody else, you know, too. So, um, like you said, you know, um, being being ready to help people, um, you know, through going through your own stuff is uh, way important. And before you start, you know, trying to, you know, uh, regress other people and, and help other people. So um, I'm still I'm still healing and stuff. And I, um you know, um, it's happening too because my my heart chakra is opening more. I can feel it. It was closed down, um, but it is it's opening more. But um, you know, as I'm finding out more and more about what's coming, you know, the future that that we're merging with, you know, now that's happening because um, I'm I'm like it's very excited and very happy because um, you know I've I've known about this coming for a while, like especially when. I, I was in my, you know, was uh, who I got introduced to by my grandmother, um, who, you know, uh, Lumerian soul, she's 85 years old and she still has a holistic health business, you know, healing people. Um, so that was part of my my lineage. Uh, but finding Romp this school, I, I knew I was connected with the future because that's what the whole school is about. Like, learn about the future and what's what's happening there and learning about quantum physics and you know anti-gravity and all sorts of sources of technology which um I, I found a connection when i found i'm like uh the illuminati are teaching exactly what ramtha has been teaching you know and ramtha calls himself the enlightened one so i i'm like he is one of the illuminati so you made so, that connection yeah you put it all yeah, together yeah <laughs> And so I was like, I, I, I started making the connections because that's what psychics do is make connections. And um, so, uh, you know, I started learning all the books in the school, started learning about, uh, you know, he has a book called The Last Waltz of the Tyrants, um, you know, which actually talks about the elite and stuff, um, you know, but he writes it in, in a different language, you know, from a higher level of, about what's going on down here about how they're dealing with them but he 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 named it the last waltz of the tyrants for a reason you know th that's because their whole system's going down um you know the the, the zionist free market capitalism you know it, uh, is it's connected uh, the, the economics 
is connected with the religious, you know, the Abrahamic religions, and then um, the uh, um, the the um, economic and, and and the political, you know, which is a uh, uh, d- democracy right now is actually it's it's gone because even Peter confirmed that there there uh, obviously um, you know there's no government right now, but that's because there's a new one coming in and. These are all evol- all the the answers that the Illuminati have are all evolutions on on what the system was, you know, because uh, like with democracy, they have it replaced with meritocracy, where uh, the people with the the best merit uh, get into the positions instead of people with privilege, like which is how how it's been, and this is what higher civilizations are obviously how they're running their their governments is uh, by meritocracy. And um, they, they go very deeply into meritocracy and uh, how, 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 they, how, how it's done. Um, but uh, it does have to do with um, a, another uh, economic system, you know, um, which is social capitalism instead of free uh, market um, Zionist capitalism, um, which um, they, they go into social capitalism, how it's, you know, because no one can be, uh, no one can gain excessive amounts of wealth. You know, that's limited to a certain amount because that's that's how they got the wealth in the first place was through the free market capitalism. They were able to get all the wealth, and then and then through actually um, being able to pass it down um, through an inher- inheritance, they were able to keep their dynasties throughout time. So, like the the Illuminati have found the answers to being able to take their money away from them and be able to, you know, um, reestablish it in the world through meritocratic governments, um, which um, meritocracy is actually one of the ways they they actually the Illuminati made Freemasonry and they included their 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 um, teachings in Freemasonry through meritocracy because the whole purpose of Freemasonry was to raise people up. Um, you know, and 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 like mer- meritoriously, um, and then put them in positions of power, but that got corrupted. Um, and and so the the Freemasonry has actually become one of uh, the biggest uh, enemy of actually the Illuminati now, <laughs> because now they they are they are the things that they actually uh, have always opposed. And and they refer to the elite and the cabal and the deep state um, as the old world order. And and they they aren't the new world order. They're the old world order. <laughs> well, the the that makes sense. yeah, I I I started doing a kind of a a deep dive into the Masonic teachings, and some of it started with Voltaire, which was um, kind of pulling away from the system, trying to figure out another system. I believe the earlier um, curious researcher founders of the masonic lodge were um truth seekers and then of course it became something else you know it it evolved into um a power structure mm-hmm. um, it was yeah it was it, they they the illuminati said it got influenced by greed greed is what 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 uh corrupted it well, if you have those that don't have a whole lot, suddenly having a whole lot, and then you, when when you money allows persuasion, where you know if people like you or dislike you, it doesn't matter. You can kind of buy certain things, you know, such as the media or um, some other kind of influences to further your your um, intent, and also um, sway them into purchasing whatever you own or what what have you. So it's, it's it's a very complex system. The the elite didn't just have the money and then pass it on. They uh, incorporated um, ways to purchase things that um, would enable them to carry on that power. So, for example, uh, the UK owns still owns the US in a very intricate way, in which would you know someone could. Um, explained that, you know, because of certain purchases and agreements that were done years ago, there's still a form of ownership and taxation or power that disallows um, a, a, few, uh, a completely free government, as we would think that we imagined that we had. Uh, there were 
the elite families that purchased, you know, all the railroads, all the transportation, all the major commodities. And um, they held on to those things throughout the year. So it's not just the money, but the, the, the um, structures and, and the uh, ne necessary things, like whether it's the communications, some even, you know, purchased um, uh, radio signals, like the power, I think they call it the GALT. Um, the, just just the, the power of that, that um, message that they could have that ownership from way back and, and maintain it. And so um, it's going to take more for that to dissolve. It would take some something else, something bigger. But you're right. I mean, we're we're in the momentum of this change. And I also want to bring up too that the um, in the anticipation of the 2012 event, you know, the Mayan calendar and the Earth is supposed to end. Well, the Earth didn't necessarily end, but um, <clears throat> well, the context of its existence did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, context but, of existence. <laughs> So we know we know that happened through Peter. So that answered some of our questions. So we also see that, you know, this I don't know how many movies I I want to say this. We're probably, not we're not in Kansas anymore. Yeah, yeah. How many there's probably about four forty movies that are apocalyptic right now, telling us all the different variations and ways that the earth is supposed to end. And maybe none of that is going to happen, or maybe it's already rolled out and played out in another reality because of people awakening and i keep on telling everyone this is you know people don't like peter's message sometimes they say oh you know he's negative or when is he going to give us good information or or uh, positive information i'm like information is neutral it's not negative or positive it's information and then what you do with it makes a difference do you feel defeated or do you feel like i want to change this do you use your intention to make these things change and more people that are awake and are aware. So you cannot change anything unless you assess the present situation. Where are we at right now? Well, this and this and this is happening. All right, that needs to be resolved. How are we going to resolve it? Through some of the soldiers, maybe it's not all on the soldiers. It has to be a mass agreement that this is something we don't consent to. Right. So yeah, speak, uh, speaking of yet, yeah, um, yes, definitely. Um, uh, th that's important to 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 address is is knowing about it, and then and then because not and what are you going to do with it uh, to change is important with uh, the information that Peter's bringing us because um, you know he, he is definitely involved in, in. I mean, we're all involved in changing the the timeline. Yes, and I I think that has to do with uh, you know. Part of what I learned from Ramtha is because he said um, only a handful of people can change a consciousness of a world, you know. And and when he was when he was uh, giving his his story, he said he got laughed at from where he came from, um, you know, about how, the, how he was coming back to Earth to help us, you know, get 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 out of the ditch, you know, because um, obviously other people didn't have, um, you know. They didn't think it could be done here, um, you know where where we're at now, and and we did we did make it. We're not. Uh, we we are and we are getting help, um, but but we're still here. Even though it's like these things are happening, like uh, in the world, like um, it it is because we're still here, and the consciousness is um, uh, getting more and more and more people coming aware that. Um, of what's really going on, which is, um, you know, the the great awakening, <laughs> you know, that that um, that that has always been talked about, and what Ramta I know has been getting um, all of his students prepared for, you know, because you know he was talking about this years ago about the elite and deep state going down, and then and then and then here we are now in the middle of it, um, so. We're, we're getting through it and then and then that was one of the important things he said was you know to get through this and get to the other side because that that's where the future is you know and and um you know that's you know when when he had the book there's a reason why he's teaching us about anti-gravity there's a reason why he's teaching us psychic abilities and all that 
you know, it's, it's to be, get prepared, you know, and, and, uh, as I, as time goes on, I see that future coming more and more, um, into the, the now, like the, the merging. So <laughs> I, 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 I am sure that we'll, we'll be, uh, a type one, you know, civilization where we're making that transition and we're going to be like, it's going to be like Star Trek. It, it's a meritocracy that that's, like what they were trying to explain the the, the world uh, the 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 Illuminati was that's what a meritocracy is. Star Trek is is that what they uh, show in that that's a meritocratically ran world is 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 what can be done there. Yeah, it's it's, it's cooperation. It's less ego. Those that are there to assist, uh, they're not hovering over um, as an elite um, and. And enforcing power structures or or um, servitude and so forth, it's uh, it's an actual collaboration, and uh, there's uh, equal in value of different uh, people who hold different roles, and so they all, you know, working in a collaborative situation to get the to accomplish whatever they need to, and to maintain the the, um, the social structure. As well as probably the, uh, um, you know, the 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 way everything's working within the the ship, but and they have to have that. We we cannot we cannot venture off the planet into other civilizations without having um, an understanding and awareness of, um, like you say, the meritocracy, where people are actually working together and collaborating and understanding and not being ego oriented because that is there's too many um uh elements that you're fighting against uh you know here we have we have to deal with weather we have to deal with a lot of different things if we didn't have certain infrastructures if uh, like in in my area where there's a lot of snow if we didn't have someone um plowing the snow off the highways we're not going to be able to get to where we need to. We'll be stranded for, you know, sometimes a couple months, you know, if that were the case. Uh, it's, it's a truly civilized group of people will understand that this is um, a collaboration and that the infrastructure needs to be maintained. And so fighting over who is above the other or um, complaining um, about, you know, some things that are, not as important, um, stealing or manipulating and, and working at doing underhanded deals like often we hear about within our governments, uh, you know, betraying your own people, which is something that has become commonplace. And, you know, uh, some nations, you know, you get a whole bunch of resources for like a, a, a tragedy or a crisis and the money gets siphoned away for some other personal issue. You know, that, that kind of thing won't exist. You will not exist off planet with that kind of idea. It's, it's, I know it, they try to make it sound like it could happen, but it's not, it's not going to be something that you have too many things coming against you. So they're trying to get us to evolve to that point. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's definitely time. And that's the thing is, 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 uh, that's our our destiny is 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 to evolve out out of out of the 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 system we've been in and that's what's happening right now and you know cuz cuz the mass mind control that's that's starting to uh dwindle you know um it actually is as the consciousness is rising the the mass mind control that they've had on people the blinders that they put on people i i i obviously um see are coming up you know um it's it's happening you know, I can actually feel it happening more and more every day. <laughs> so I think that's going to be uh, part of the the main thing is the point that the uh, the mass mind control is 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 not having the effect um, that um, it, it has had in the past as as our consciousness gets higher. Absolutely. And I know the ones, like I said, the 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 the, the handful of, of the people that can change the consciousness of a world um uh that Rompta was referring to because he does he does a uh, book called the mind gladiators of the future um which is actually a, an amazing book 
Um, but that, that is what is he referring to. And the more we change our consciousness, the, the actual more we're, we're cha- you know, changing the consciousness of the world. So it's, it's, uh, it's happening <laughs> as, as, we're, as, we're, as we're getting higher. So tell me about your book. Is the book it covers a lot of these discussions that we're having right now? Yeah, it 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 does. Um, you know, because I I did I, I went through uh, my hero's journey. Um, you know, my awakening because uh, understanding the hero's journey is like uh, the the key to the path um, to the to the grail, and you you start in the world of common day. Um, so you you are in in the world that's a nine to five job you know you're wondering what's going on um uh it's it's a you know monotonous drudgery you're you're in the matrix um which is is also referred to as the demurge which you know the gnostics uh referred to it as the demurge that's the uh, and the gnostics actually believe in the divine spark as well that each person has a divine spark um uh so I, I go through my my life in the world of common day, um, which was, you know, uh, you know, high school days, uh, going into the Marines, um, uh, you know, um, and then and then after getting out of the Marines, that's when um, I got to my call to adventure. Because um, you get the call to adventure, you get the call to like, there, there's got to be something more than this. Um, and and I obviously um, accepted that call, but. There are there are souls that refuse that call and then go back into the world of common day. So that's that's the the red pill, blue pill, um, you know, point. So I, I took the red pill and then um, I went into uh, the they, they then say you go into the extraordinary world. And then that's when I, I came into the spiritual world and just everything started happening in my life. Um, you know, meeting with Ramtha, learning about being a super soldier the government involvement, you know, um, so much, like, and I just go through all that. And then um, I just, uh, the, the, I, I relate it with the hero's journey about like having the road and test and trials. And, um, and, and then um, it just goes through the, the hero's journey. And then I, I, I explain um, my super soldier experiences and how, uh, you know, coming into to contact with Peter, um, was was really what the, I was looking for, because once I started uh, noticing that I had black helicopters flying around me all the time, which I now know are um, TR series craft that uh, monitor us super soldiers because they are the ones that take us, you know, uh, and because they actually have portal technology and uh, I, I've seen them. They're they're black triangles. So um, they're always around me all the time, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a super soldier, and so um, I I found out about that, and then I did my whole search, you know, through UFOlogy and stuff, finding out about UFOs and super soldiers, and that's what actually led me um, to, you know, James Rank's show, but then actually coming into contact with Peter, which was the pivotal, you know moment in my life where uh you know i got to learn <laughs> some information that that um i was looking for you know about being uh you know he told me how many planets i've been to how many missions i'd done um you know that i was a sleeper agent for kruger and monarch obviously i'm not sleeping anymore i'm fully awake to that and uh and so yeah, that that was uh that was really uh in, in in the quest of the Holy Grail, that that's what when you get to the reward, because after you go through the road of tests and trials, you you get to the reward, which is you know whatever you 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 are seeking. And for me, it, it, it was knowledge, and uh, meeting Peter uh, was uh, extremely pivotal in my life because it did change my life to to know what was going on in my life. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, and I have seen you in missions because we're connected through um, Kruger, through the Unit 374. And it's been going on for quite a few years where, I mean, I've even had a few dreams. I'm like, 
And I'm, I just would be standing there and I'd see you walking in soldier mode. And I'd say, that's that's Anthony Zender. And I'd just watch it like you're across the street. You know what I mean? Or just like going off to do something. And so I'm obviously there for a purpose. You're there for another purpose. And, and you know, I've seen other soldiers. Sometimes I've even seen us as a whole crew doing different things. And um, the ACIO has um, a bil- a ways of transporting us. And bringing us to these places, and so uh, I, I don't think it's an accident. I mean, a lot of people, they have their their memories, their recalls, and their other people say, "Hey, I recognize you," or whatever. Um, but uh, and I understand that. But uh, Peter literally has um, information that no one else has, and I know that for a fact. And I because when I was um, I've been around psychic people for years. I mean, I started doing this work over 20 years ago and I've sat in rooms with hundreds of psychics, you know, at psychic fairs. And people would n- would not understand some of the things that I talked about, about people showing up in my home and then disappearing. They had no idea. And when Peter explained everything and he started telling me things, I'm like, I said, he's, he's the only one that understands. And, and, he he actually has the information to explain what happened there and it totally made sense to me 100 percent. and so what whether i understood what he was talking about from the beginning when i first met him 2016 2017 i wanted to know more and i wanted to hear more and i didn't have any proof of some of the things that he was saying and i always say that peter has this like two two year buffer you know, so yeah, that, that, I mean, that, 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 like yeah, that happens, right? <laughs> it's, it's impressive. It's impressive. That's, that's what's so uh, uh, appealing about it is impressive about the information that he has, because I was, I was really, really impressed uh, when, after I met him and uh, he, he told me, cause I'm like, I'm like, is somebody just going to approach me? You know, am I going to get approached? Because, you know, and, and just to, to, to clue me in a little bit about what's going on. And and he actually told me Lincoln Clay would approach me in two months. And then I had it, I had that experience with meeting Lincoln Clay. Um, and he was, he was literally right there, a time traveler, just standing in front of my path. And, and he came up to me and he's like, Hey, <laughs> he's like, and he obviously knew information about, you know, and, um, yeah, I, I, I was like, yeah, I've, I've seen you. You're, you're pretty good. And I wasn't, I wasn't putting two and two together, even though he was, um, you know, I, I knew about Lincoln Clay, but I still didn't put two and two together because it's just so out of the ordinary, you know, that, that you get approached by people from the future, you know? So, uh, you know, I, I had that, uh, uh, meeting with Lincoln Clay right after Peter said it would happen. So that, that's when I was like, okay, he, he, definitely knows um some things <laughs> yeah yeah he he definitely um i i was talking to uh one of the emerthers before i started talking to peter so i was already connecting to the council of five and i you know I, when he started talking about it and i said oh you mean i said are you talking about gary and he started laughing he says well he knows him as jerry but um, mm-hmm. it's pretty much the same one, and and I found out later that that uh, Gary was around Peter since he was young, since he was really young, and I've had communications with him more recently. But um, you know he's very very helpful, and the mm-hmm. they they're they're here to help. They're very benevolent. Um, they're you know wanting to look out for us. I know that there's a bunch more soldiers. I, you know, I enjoy talking to soldiers here and there. Peter has his specific teams, but I know that there's more soldiers out there. I mean, I've, I could see them. I know them immediately when I hear them talking. And uh, yeah, yeah. And, and that was, you know, uh, what I talking about that, um, you know, bringing up uh, the show Travelers is important because, you know, being a soldier it's like you you are involved in time travel and stuff and you're you're being you know taken back and forth from the future and put in the present and 
in in the show Tra- Travelers, they actually uh, reveal how that they they disclose that, like how there's people from the future here now, you know, through consciousness transfer. Um, and you know, I know my consciousness has I'm has been taken out of my body, and and you know, um, so I'm experiencing uh, a con uh, like a life having all this stuff remembering all this stuff from the future and um even Rampa has in in the in his book mind gladiators of the future uh the the first chapter is called remembering the future and so it's like i'm i'm you know you know i'm definitely uh it's understand that i'm here i'm back here from the future but i'm on a mission like like they show on travelers and we're and we're changing uh, the timeline being back here, and I, I even remember a meeting with Gabriel Kruger, and um, I it was right before I was I was in a trip chair, and um, he I remember him standing over me, and he he told me I and that now I remember I'm like I was getting sent back I was I was that's what was happening, and uh, and he's like yeah what you're doing is 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 you know saving everything. <laughs> And and Gabriel Kruger's here, and uh, probably about a year and a half or so. Um, uh, yeah, I talked to an individual who was from Austria, and he was telling me that he was in Slovenia at a, it was like a water park, and Gabriel Kruger <laughs> was there with um, someone that, well, like an Asian girl, which we figured out was probably Faith Connors. And they were just sitting there, and um, he. I asked Peter about it, and he says, he goes, oh, yeah, he listened to me, and he goes, we have to do something. <laughs> so it's almost like it told him to remind him that Gabriel is present, and that was something on, like, the schedule that he needed I- to take action on. Mm-hmm. I think I think uh, the, it. what comes to me is, like, you know, that's a – indication of the merging of of the realities you know um and it's happening so and and i know that this reality that we're merging with peter does talk about it a lot and and he's been talking about it for years and i knew what he was talking about when he started talking about it because i remember being over there as well and like the cars and and just the way it is is just it's it's so much better and um and uh that's what we're we're merging with, from my understanding. Even though it may not look like that from like what's happening, but that's what we're merging with. I was I was in the Kruger facility. It's in another um, reality. I I was I was too because yeah yeah, yeah. I remember I, I remember I, I saw yeah you remember it too. Mm-hmm. I, I remember saw. leaving it. I remember leaving it and looking back and seeing the facility, and it actually said uh, had sign. Said that said Kruger on the outside mm-hmm. of it, yeah. and it was in a it was in a like a futuristic type city, you know. Yeah, like it has like yeah. a like a parking lot or something around it, but it was it was kind of sprawling. It was it was large. Yeah, and I mean I'm not sure. Like I'm I'm trying to figure out like uh, what time that is in, um, and because <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, I I. I I'm I'm trying to figure out where I'm coming back from, like what time I'm coming back from, because like the actually reading, I'm actually reading the book Chronicles from, uh, you know, from the future that, that, that you had, I'm reading that book because I took interest in it D-Nock. when you mentioned it. Dinak. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I took interest in, uh, when you, when you in, mentioned that, because I, I knew it would explain kind of what's happening with, with me. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know, his consciousness was transferred into a person in the future. <laughs> well, well, you know, let's get back to that. What did he say? He said that what did they say about the history of his writings, his writings that was then brought forward by this guy that was from Greece. And he, he sat there with him and told him all, all about his information and his recall. That guy put it into a book. 
they were concerned that they made sure that only the people from the Masonic Lodge had access to it. Yes, yeah, they wanted to keep that a secret. They definitely wanted to keep that a secret because he is actually uh, coming from the year 3,903. I mean, that's that's pretty far out there, but um, th I mean, that, that... The 393, which is like the Tesla numbers. Oh, okay, that, that's, uh, I see that too. And and um, that's that's in the future. And and I mean, that's what it's always been about for me is the future, you know, and, and, and the best one. And um, I, 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 I actually do see and feel that happening. Like, um, uh, and, and I, I've, 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 you know, the information I, I've uh, gathered here, like as my, you know, as, as my time here, you know, because that's all I've done is just gather information about what is going on, like figuring out what is going on. And um, I, I believe that I've, I've, have a good idea about what's going on and 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 where we're going and that's that's a a prosperous like future <laughs> yeah yeah you know, and, 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 and even though we talk about things that are very challenging and it's almost like oh no another bleed through oh you know this this whole thing about they're going to enforce something on us or um you know the this whole thing of agent x you know, being used, and Peter told me this years back, um, like I think I had 2021, but there's even more times when he talked about it, how, you know, it's just a tiny, tiny bit, like um, almost a pinch of this powder can really do a huge amount of damage. And mm -hmm. so they could easily just, just drop it at any point and hurt us if they really wanted to. Uh, so, yeah, you know, well, I, I mean, I mean, they're not, and I know that I mean there's there's stuff going on to to keep that from happening too. Um, well, the you know. the orange smoke that we had and and all of that was definitely um, a piece of this this Agent X that P Peter talked about that got taken and we're st a part this this is where the soldiers come in is trying to track down groups like the Shadow Group who who is definitely have these hybrid abilities and able to you know, um, go beyond the, the normal time travel jumps that, you know, we talk about. And like, just, just talking about that from what I'm uncovering too, is because it's set up a certain way. And I actually found out that above, above the elite and the old world order, you know, there's the group above them. And that, that is what I'm finding out is the like the black operations corporations and stuff. But they say, the Illuminati say that there's the, the old world order, you know, the elite, and then there's the archons that are actually above them. And if the archons were known about to society, like people would worship them and stuff. And um, I connect archonic connection like with those black operations um, corporations. Well, just just think about it. I mean, P Peter had um, he was pulled out. Um, presently, I'm, I'm writing a book about Peter. You know, we're going to talk about the ACIO and everything is, and just to disclose information that's not really been talked about on, on a personal level with him. Um, but he was actually had abilities. He has abilities. He has kinesis and probably some other abilities as well. So say, for example, he went out and was like a performer and started doing things like that. He would be worshipped. He has abilities. Mm -hmm. He's not the only one in these projects. So he was pulled into elite projects. And um, like he was just in the military for, for the Czech Republic. And then somehow he finds himself in, you know, in Germany. And then before you know it, he's with NATO. Sure. You know, and, and with, with like just a handful of very elite soldiers. And they also have abilities. So, yes, mm -hmm. now. Yeah. With the shadow group, you have these guys that are in women too, because it's definitely women there that come together and um, have all these abilities. And then they're tired of the corporations and the governments telling them what to do. And they form their own group. And that's essentially the shadow group. So it's a very elite forces, but incredible abilities. And obviously got access to something else to enable them to go back in time and forward in time and however they want to 
with uh, large um, leaps rather than the 20 and back or 20 and a half and back, which is doable <coughs> for most um, travelers. So it's it's it it's gotten a little it's trickier, <laughs> right? But you're yeah, right, yeah. Be worshipped. They would definitely be worshipped. Mm -hmm. And that that's what uh, you know the Illuminati were saying about the archons is if the the um, you know because they are uh, they have ability like they the, like hypnotic uh, the 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 uh, you know that uh, the movie that you you said they're hypnotic. Literally, it says uh, your reality is under their control, <laughs> and and it's like that's the one of the abilities they have. I know is is mind control, and 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 that they do it to us all the time. So, yeah, yeah. Well, you're seeing someone that had an exceptional ability. Out there. I've I've you know talked to people that have abilities in hypnosis, um, but we're going definitely a step further and what that guy was able to do mm -hmm. and it it exactly explains and shows what peter talks about and how uh those that were used in uh for as shooters you know yep. these, you say well, that's, how that's, well yeah whatever it's it's the trigger word or whatever somehow they were pulled in and they didn't have a memory of it of course they got wiped like yeah, that wasn't that was just it, it definitely wasn't a random event, you know, is it was, it was no. that targeted and 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 that's how they did it was in, you know wow, yeah. I mean that's how that's that's what's really going on, you know, not not what they're showing on the news because uh, it's just it's funny. It's actually it's funny because I mean I I you know sometimes I watch the news and I can't even watch it because it's I know it's it is fake news it's total propaganda and it's not really what's going on so or they, um, sh they show an you know an element of truth but right. not that, that's part of the, yeah that's part of what they do yeah yeah but it is it is for a certain agenda and and it is part of the keeping the minds controlled but from what i understand too is it's kind of a good thing right now that you know that, that there's a reason why um there's a reason why you know, we're just not getting led to the truth right now because it, it would it would we would destroy ourselves. So it's not time yet. So um but but from from my understanding, what is going on in the like media is 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 happening so that we don't destroy ourselves. <laughs> yeah. You know, the the, the people are getting, having to be fed uh a a a narrative as we're breaking away. As we're breaking away from the matrix and, and all that, the 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 where we were, they're having to be fed a certain narrative uh, so that we we can not you know go down the wrong path. But because of the process of the way the news is done, that when people start to look at alternative news, they they're more <laughs> they're open to it because they understand how news is presented. And uh, then it's triggering things, but you're right. I mean, there has to be um, so much information that came out, but. Um, hey, and I, I understand too. I mean, we are like a, a little ahead of the game, you know, because of the information that we have and that we're our, our sources. So um, that's what I've gotten used to too, is is being in the present, but being kind of ahead of, of, the, of what's going on. Um, so yeah and then that that does come with what, what i also learned too about being an, an initiate is once you become an initiate you know to the mysteries you then you then uh through trials you you earn clairvoyance you know that that's what happens is you get clear sight and clairvoyance and then once you're able to merge the the two worlds and have sight on the spiritual and then bring it down into the into the physical and then that's when you're an adept and I, 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 I've been, I've had experience with those three steps in my life. So I know that I'm, I'm, I'm bringing in the, the spiritual <laughs> because even, even the Illuminati actually explain scientifically though, they explain uh, the metaphysical reality and, and the bait and like, uh, the universe of, of, uh, of the universe, 
of, of matter and the universe of mind. Um, you know, because mind is actually the, the dimensionless, you know, realm and um, and where we go into dreams and and that is actually a, a, another universe, you know, and then there's the physical universe, which is the universe that we go in every day. But the, the, what we're trying to do is 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 combine them, merge them together. Mm -hmm. um, and and I actually know the equation to do that through the Illuminati because the um, the um, dimensional uh, universe of matter is represented by reality is um, is is or it is greater than zero. And then and then the dimension of, of mind is represented by the equation reality is um, equal to zero. And then you actually merge those two um, uh, equations together to get reality is greater than equal to zero. And that actually explains scientifically the universe of mind and universe of matter. But there's more to that too. But they actually explained it. Yeah, you know, I, what, um, during my process of awakening, um, I had an awareness of being connected to you, Madame Blavatsky, in the, as a previous life. So a lot of that uh, hermetic teachings and and um, a, uh, ancient mystery schools, also the connection to the Ascended Masters, all of that made sense to me. And I started to, um, I, I never really studied a lot of her. I studied the effects of what she went through. And I said, that makes sense to me. It was the ongoing visions that the the fragmented um, things that were coming up and it sort of it, it takes a toll on you. I think in this lifetime, I'm able to manage it better. Because I'm constantly seeing things. And so, you know, I, I, I write it down just like she did. She wrote down some of her realizations and, and different ideas, but um, it's it's quite a process of this this um experience that we're going through now is something that they were aware of years ago and because of um religion which was dominant you know anything outside of the borders of religion say you know a couple of hundred years ago was um the you know the encapsulated that encapsulated as like witchcraft or or something that was evil so um, we were awake, we went to sleep again, or we were afraid to open up. People that were just like, you know, herbalists and so forth, understood the, mat the power of, of um, working with herbs, working with nature, um, creating remedies. And then they started getting, you know, pointed out as witches. We're still in that mentality to some degree. You know, so because of that, people are like embracing and saying, I'm a witch, you know, and you're not a witch necessarily, <laughs> but it's like, it's like they're doing it to say, listen, I don't want to conform to all of this stuff, but maybe they're not that, but they're saying, I don't want to conform to, um, you know, what we were told we're supposed to believe because we know that it was intermingled with governments to control the masses. That's the problem with religion. Well it wasn't the jesus part I, it was the I, part of the you know the secret history is, is actually the the gnostics and the the knights templar and uh the cathars and the witches all getting burned um mm -hmm. at the stake you know um and and that was because they 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 really held the understanding of of you know the true religion which is it, which is obviously with nature and the universe and all that and um that like you said that that uh i'm 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 just waking up more and more to um you know get, getting away from from um from from religion and 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 the government and uh the uh, economy because like what i understand is what's happening is i'm i'm going through ascension right now <laughs> Because um, it's it's like a multi-dimensional experience. Because I will I will I will go to sleep and and I will I will be in another dimension. Like and I'll be there. And um, I know I'm. This has happened through activation of my light body. 
um, you know, which I I actually have an experience um, uh, of catching it on camera. Um, I, I I I posted it up and in the sky, and um, what what and it started moving around, and it actually at one point it stopped, and uh, and then I I was thinking in my mind, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it to go left. And then it, I knew it was tell, going to telepathically read my thoughts and, and it went left and it just went left and, and went, you know, as far as my, I could see. But what I understood that that was because the Illuminati actually explained that because do they, they're like, do you know how, do you know how uh, rare it is to capture a free soul on camera? And what I found out though, was that was, that was me like that. That was my soul that I actually caught on camera. And um, and because it even, it, 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 it responded to my thoughts. <laughs> That's so, why. Yeah, and yeah. let me let me just, we're gonna go backtrack because there's a lot of people that start looking at this and they say, well, you know, you, you're psych, I wanna be like you, or I, you know, I wanna, they've, they've said that to me, they've said that to you as well. Um, to you have certain abilities and some of it is who you are and you're born with it some of it is uh, through meditation and so uh, I always tell people there there are no shortcuts I know that you meditate is that true no that is very true and there there are no sh- there are no shortcuts and um, you know because that's what the whole premise of meditation was was to turn uh, someone's consciousness from the ex exco exoteric to the esoteric and that was the that was the 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 outer to the inner and i obviously was uh through the process of meditation i obviously turned more inward than than outward there was a point where i did that (laughs) and and that's part of uh the the conquering yourself and um what i learned in the school of ramtha um, and, and I, that, the, the, cause what I did was I actually, I'm, I, I get up every single morning and that's the first thing I do is meditate. And before I, I wasn't able to do that. You know, when I first started out, I was, I was very affected by everything going on by the world, by my thoughts, like everything, but I actually listened to Ramtha and what he taught. And every single day I woke up and meditated and, um, he actually says when you when you do that you're 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 um creating your own reality (laughs) yeah or you're um visiting someplace i wanted to at some point talk about um remote viewing too because i believe that's a different thing and and Mm -hmm. i I can explain that did you mind if i bring that up during our i I don't i do not um I know it's really trendy right now for people to do remote viewing. There's one thing to go intra- inside yourself and to do it's, your. It's remote the cool viewing. thing to do, you know. People like just like you said, like with being a witch or something. But well, well, yeah, I'll I'll explain what what my thought is on this. Um, so so like when you're meditating, you're just going within. You're trying to be at one with yourself and one with the earth and experience. You need to create some kind of atmosphere, you know, whether it's you're in your home where it's quiet out in a car sitting at a beach anywhere it is that you can take that quiet time and and just connect and with the earth connect with the universe connect with your higher self right so that is looking into your own space when you're remote viewing they're telling you to go out and go into somebody else's space right all right so now Think about it this way, physically. You're telling someone to get up, get out of your house, you know, get in your car, and then walk into someone's home. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, if the receiver on the other end is in that home, and they see you walking through the house, what do you think their reaction is? Yeah, I mean, you're not supposed to be there, so, you know. (laughs) <laughs> so I've had people say, can you take a look at this? This is something I learned earlier and I didn't know anything about remote viewing. And I said, I'm going to go look in that space. I looked in that space and I saw someone looking back at me. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they were not happy. Mm -hmm. And some of those people have a lot of abilities. Mm -hmm. They're psychic guards. Nobody talks about it. No, I can't believe it. There's people are at, maybe they do. I don't know. But they're supposed to be experts in this field. How can you send new people out to look into spaces? And then horrible things can happen to those people, especially if you're not trained in that area. Some people might say, oh, I knew exactly what to do. All right, so they've done this before in the past somewhere. That's the exception. But the average person going out and looking into a space say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go look into a military facility. Yeah. I'm going to go That's look into um, the White House. I'm going to go, you, whether you like the administration or not, there are psychic, very psychic people there. I'm going to go look into the Kremlin. Good luck. There's a lot going on on the astral plane, you know. <laughs> There's an awful lot. There's an awful lot. And you know what those people do? They come back, oh, you know, I, I feel really sick or I don't know what happened and blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm getting attacked all the time. And of course you are. I mean, you can get attacked anyhow, just accidentally doing things. That's different. But if people are training others to do that, then you better be prepared that you're you better be equipped to do you know, that. You know what's of... actually funny that they this, this comes up when you mention that because it, it is a good point because uh, it's like don't tread where you don't belong. Um, and what was actually funny though is because um, I actually had a memory come back where I was uh, with Donald Trump and I was I was sitting right next to him and we were on Air Force One. And uh, I was just right there with him. And then I was like, holy shit, Donald Trump's right there. And uh, I, I asked him, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what do you know about super soldiers? Is what I asked him. And uh, he's like, don't tread where you don't belong, is, is you know, what, what he told me. So that was what he had to say. So, I mean, that's obviously really secret, you know, really super secret. So that was that was a, that was a, a enlightening experience when I had that. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a plaything. It's not like you know, just go somewhere. Even like ancient sites, and do not mess around with with the pyramids and and some of the Egyptian stuff. Those beings are very much alive and very well and watching and waiting. You know, they'll they'll take over your body. They'll just say, you know what, you're stupid enough to come into my space. You know, I can do something. I'm not trying to scare anyone, but I mean, it's the truth of the matter. And I had a dream about Air Force One as well. But okay. I, I remember just being there and seeing him, and I've had a few. I've I have seen Donald Trump in like other other realities, other um, parallel existences. And when he was yeah. at the height of his power, he was at the height of his power in like three or four other parallels at the same time. It was wild. He was very. He was so dominating. That it was like, I think it scared the Galactics. He was so powerful oh, wow. at one point. Yeah, but I remember there was a time when I saw, I had a um, vision. I was there with uh, the one that everyone knows as Odin. I call him Rodan. And he, I was um, in this space and Donald Trump was there and we went to protect him. And I was like, what, what just happened? And then I heard on the news that someone tried to sh um, uh, try uh, try to shoot at him. Mm. It happened mm. okay. at the same time, and I was like, "Well, they they just had me on a mission to to protect him." I don't, I don't, I'm not talking about him to that. You know, I'm not sure that he's going to be coming into office. I can't because I can't be dishonest. I don't know. Um, I really like him, but there's other, you know, there's other factors beyond what my opinion is or, or you know, what I want. But um, I guess we'll see what happens. As, yeah, we'll see. Well, that's that's the I, that's the only thing we can do for, at this I, time. <laughs> I did. I know that he had the potential and I for tremendous power, and I think they were afraid of it. And I was going to talk about it in one of the shows. And I, I was like, there's some people that are diehard 
uh, Trump followers, and I understand why. Um, but if I, you have to be able to look at the facts to understand why things happened the way that they did, and um, to be open to like maybe if this was resolved, then we can get past that. But um, any, I, uh, any <laughs> conversation. Like I'll just I I will I will I will say one thing though is like I I. I think that I, I do believe that Donald Trump's going to win the election. Like, I, I think that the, like, it doesn't look like it. I think this is all part of the, part of the, the, the show and stuff. And um, I, I, well, I guess we will see, but you know, I have faith in Donald Trump and um, I actually love Donald Trump. Like I can't, I can't say that I, I really do because I know what he's, 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 he's doing. I know what he's done and I know what he's doing. And I knew he was the first one to come in to power to 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 actually challenge the elite, and the the the, um, the cabal and the deep state. And that's why I, I love him, you know. Yeah, and I think, well, I. I think that there is he definitely has an E.T. connection. There's there's no doubt in my mind. I mean, he's been seen with a few different individuals that do not look typical or human um i'm not really sure the uh i was um hinted by the acio that they're they were um uh looking more towards desantis but uh, you know things can change or whatever it's it's not even, even, even if he does doesn't i know i know him coming in i mean it's it's been part of the us awakening you know um it, it, that, you know, I, I went. He, he was a catalyst. <laughs> yeah, I, I went out to um, where he lives in Florida, and um, yeah, I, I talked about it because it was a really weird feeling. I I pulled out my camera. I was recording and talking. I was really happy to be there at Mar-a-Lago, and then uh, I got this gut feeling, really weird gut feeling, and then. Um, the security guard saw me and started yelling at me. <laughs> you know, hey, hey, get out of there. What are you doing? And I'm like, oh, no, all right. So I just got in the car. Um, but I felt like something happened when when that just like a few minutes. It was like, you know, those mim- minutes where like time stands still and something happened. Right, right. So, yeah. And, and, and then... Um, I, I had the, the gut feeling, and later on I found out what the gut feeling was, is that they had plans to um, go in and, and pull files out of his home. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you tuned into that then. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt that right away, and I'm like, well, if I was talking to him, I would have told him, <laughs> you know, there's something wrong. Yeah, but... It is. It's it kind of like not. I'm definitely not happy. What happened, and how it turned, and what happened with our nation. You know, because this is um, this this is a punishment almost. <laughs> you know. Well, it's, it's definitely it's definitely. I mean, igniting the uh, the patriotism and and all that in me, because I'm I'm seeing yeah. everything going on, and there couldn't be another American scene, and, and then not get a. a a feeling that there needs to be stand up and uh, like a revolution, you know, definitely the next revolution, but um, is, is going to happen like, or else we're going to be stamped down and enslaved forever. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be either uh, freedom or enslavement. And, and um, that's, that's what it's coming down to like in, 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 cause this is the end of history. Like, it, it, cause there this is an end history, to, yeah. to everything. This, this and I, I, I know that that's what we're, experiencing is this end point and us being slaves is is one of the concepts uh that's coming up to the light um you know and then once that's found out more and more um you know because i actually in my in my book i've been getting out the book i'm a slave what difference can i make by maximus um from you know because he he realized he was a slave and but that's the p- beginning to freedom you know, and and we that's going to be realized. The system has been enslaving all of us, and, and it hasn't been for our freedom. It's been like like actually the Illuminati say freedom and democracy has has been how it's been, and and we the people we actually have allowed it 
to happen to us. Um, you know, so we have to wake up out of this and then demand something better. And there is something better. There actually is. There's there's always something better. There's a next system better. Communism didn't work. You know, they, they were trying with communism, but it, it didn't work because of certain things. But um, democracy is not working because we we now see that it's not what it appears to be. Like they said, it was for the people and stuff, but it's actually for the elite by the elite, you know, and 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 all that. But there's actually another form higher than democracy, which is actually meritocracy, which is what I know other civilizations uh, run their government on. Yeah, and that's what I think we are going to evolve into. Um, the next form of government um, will will be a meritocracy, which will also uh, can bring in a new religion, um, which will replace the the Abrahamic religions, which four billion people in the world believe in. Um, and then there's going to be a new economic system too, which is going to be social capitalism, which is going to replace free market Zionism, and you know. That that's what I I believe is is happening with uh, the 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 earth and what's happening is we're going into a new system. Yeah, definitely, and I mean it's it's happening around us. It's really hard to like people are saying, well, what, what is that all about? You know, you actually feel that there is a change and a shift in the way things are done, and they're definitely trying. There's at the same time where um, the positive outcome that you're talking about. There's a con there's a battle that's going from the like the 2030 agenda and just the opposite of further enslaving us, putting us in these little, you know, one room cells, having like a computer or something in front of us and um, living uh, vicariously through some kind of screen. And, uh, you know, th this is, you know, you'll be happy and know nothing and that kind of thing is what is trying to. Um, punish us or saying you don't want the slave system will give you something worse you know that we need to control you I don't agree with it at all I mean I've, I've spoken out about it plenty of times and, and I'm not comfortable with it Peter says that they're still moving in that direction so we haven't won quite won this um, battle yet and they're just trying to um, even even um, oppress us further and of course the lockdowns and so forth. That is another thing that they keep hovering over us. And uh, I'm going to make a reference to something that's called um, the person, individual from history called Democles. And there was a sword. There was this ruler that had constantly a sword hanging over him. So it's almost like you're not fully free until you get rid of that sword. And that's uh, constantly threatening to... Um, behead you or to harm you in some way if you don't comply to whatever it is. And that's essentially what they've been doing to us in varying degrees um, through time. But we are at the point, like you said, information, knowledge, spiritual awakening of the truth of who we are in and recognizing that we were never intended to be slaves. That was the never. Divine. Divine divine spark we are divine and that's because even even my my mentor rompa you know the first he starts out you've been taught that you are wretched creatures because that's what they taught us you know we're sinners you know all this stuff it was just in implanted in us but like once you start awakening you really do realize that you are like a divine being you know and you have a divine spark a soul in you and which is which is divine and you have a connection with the divine actually all the time you don't need a uh, a mediary to actually have that connection with God because God not only exists, he's inevitable. That's what I've learned actually through learning about the Illuminati is, is it's all about God and knowing that God is the, like the universe and the evolution of the universe to its um, end point, you know, so it can actually do it over and over again. And the end point uh, of which they call the Omega point is everybody reaching their, um, fullest maximum expression and potential you know each each soul actually experiencing that and i believe that's a possibility because it's an inevitability because um through what i understand about the universe that's what the purpose of the universe is 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 to keep is to get every uh soul to to actual freedom 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know it's, we're going at the lowest level here in 3d, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, it may not, but I, but I understand that the end is, is everybody's free, you know, through, through the evolution and the purpose of the universe, which is, which is called telos. Telos is, is, is everything has a purpose. It's Greek. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm learning about the Illuminati and the, the knowledge that they had um, is actually giving me um, hope and inspiration, um, you know, because I know that there is a group, an organization um, that is a secret society that has actually always been around um, that acts actually opposing the elite. You know, they, they have always been around and they're they're they, they have, their heroic struggle has always been against the elite and they have had influence on other revolutions in the past, but the elite have been able to stop those from actually uh, taking over and 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 they, they they've main, they've been able to maintain their control um, you know through 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 what the, the globalization and everything. Yeah, I mean, I th I think the whole point of the globalization is, is um, like I said, they're they're angry. The uh, a lot of these people that are promoting it have something to gain by controlling everyone. They're they're get, going to get rewarded, and so they have, um, you know, money will be in their pocket. They'll have everything. You know, they tell us, you know, we're limited and we should, you know not travel and do all these other things, but then they have, the, there's- I'm, I mean, I'm tired, like I'm, I'm tired. I've reached the point, you know what I'm saying? Where I've had enough, definitely of, of everything that's being done. I mean, just with like pandemics and like all this craziness, you know, um, I, I've, I'm one of the souls that has had enough. You know, I, I see where other people are and stuff, um, you know, but, but there, there does have to be like leaders and stuff, you know, and and you do you do have to um, want it, want to for you want change. You don't want the same thing over and over again. Your enslavement for that. I mean, that's 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 really hell. You know, that's actually the Demerouge. That's where they want people to stay is, is in the same repeating pattern because there's the God of being, which is actually uh, called like Satan. Satan is getting everybody to to be locked into hell and the demurrage but the god of becoming is actually the 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 key to illumination because it says that anybody can become god that 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 is what can any any being can do that yeah through through an awakening awareness and the connectedness to the god source yeah absolutely i just wanted to bring up quickly and i i don't mean to step back but um regarding desantis if we reflect on the past couple of years, there was only one voice that was able to stand up against this this beast that was controlling and, and traumatizing the public, attacking the youth and our elderly and um, the vulnerable in our society, and that was DeSantis. And so there is, you know, you could you could put someone in office that you really like, but someone that is actually able to implement and stop certain uh, trends that are harming the innocent in, in our our nation or in our world. Um, also, uh, ability to communicate and create some uh, realm of peace. I don't know if any one person is the answer, but I think we need to look at many different things and take that in. And then, of course, it's JFK, uh, not JFK, Robert Kennedy Jr. is running for office as well. And uh, I, I didn't mean to get into a political thing with you, but it is part of of what's going on. And as um, uh, uh, super soldiers or travelers or whatever, I mean, people are listening because we, we're kind of stepping into the future and the past and, and having these experiences, but also able to um, assess what's going on around us. And... Um, Trump constantly referring to the Kennedy family. So I thought, well, isn't this interesting? I mean, well, maybe, you know, all these years he's hearing his family being talked about. And he said, you know what? I'm going to run for office. So I didn't know, is that karmic or what's going on there? You know, because mm -hmm. now you have another 
opposition from a family that, you know, they put on, you know, a high um, pedestal, but yet it's, it kind of uh, surfaced in another way. I just know that that Trump and 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 you know uh, John F Kennedy are doing the same. They, you know they they were doing the same thing, fighting the elite and the cabal and bringing them out in the public. And um, like uh, as far as like with DeSantis and stuff and and the other candidates, like actually him being in in um, as president would be the form of a meritocracy. You know because the best. I'm not saying Trump is the best person. But but whoever's going to do the best for the people and has the, demonstrated the most merit needs to be in the the the, the highest positions, and so um, I agree that, with that. that. Yes, if we if yeah. we can agree that we no, want that, that's what I'm saying. I can I yeah. can like I I found I found the illumin like the politically I can agree because that's what I that's what I believe in is each not not through privilege because. That that that's what the the Illuminati say is the difference between privilege and merit because most people have gotten into the positions through privilege and not actual meritorious like you know effort. But that's that's what I understand. The future is 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 more like people with the meritorious effort are going to be in the highest positions, and the all the people of privilege they they're all going away. You know they're all getting they're they're all, they they've dug their own graves. They're 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 destroying themselves that that's why the people of, of merit will take will overtake in, in, in all the best positions that's that's our evolution um like that's that i see unfolding absolutely yeah and I, so that's, I didn't, that's promising that, that that is promising i i believe that we are moving in a more positive direction but negative things are going to surface to challenge us and whether or not how we handle that is going to be, you know, this is our this is our road of tests and trials, um, you know, as a collective. So. Um, yeah, how we yeah. handle that is the key because you can get disappointed, discouraged. I've seen people get like depressed over this or they don't want to engage or they go into something else or like say, oh, I just, you know, I have to go into something more positive and. And then they get into you like something a little bit more love and light or whatever, just to kind of balance themselves. And then they usually end up coming back again because we have, we have to like trudge through the snowstorm. Sometimes, you know, um, as a soldier, we have to recognize that there are, there are different challenges that face us, but that doesn't have to be the outcome. And like, one thing, one piece of wisdom that I that I learned actually from the Emerald Tablets of Toth the Atlantean, um, he was speaking about the initiation in the pyramids, and in in the language that he 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 writes in, he says, um, you know, because he's explaining the whole inward journey is in 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 an ancient language, um, but he was talking about how to to manifest your goal, you know, and and he he basically says. You know, place in your mind a thought form picture, you know, because the universe is mind. So he's like, place in your mind a thought form picture. He says, vibrate it on it um, back and forth. He's like, um, obstacles great, you will meet in the pathway. Um, but ever, uh, you must ever trudge forward to the light of the sun. You know, so he was basically saying, you need to just keep your dream. You know what I'm saying? alive you know you need to keep thinking about it and and it will it will come you know so that's what we need to realize as a collective is how much effect we have on what's going on you know um through 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 our visualization and um you know manifestations there's a there was um a teaching regarding money you know because people get hung up on money and i you know, oh, money's evil, or there's a problem with money, or, or, you know, whatever it is. And I always say money's just energy. You know, abundance is energy. And so, but if you tell yourself that you're going to make money, like, just, just one way, then you're limiting yourself. Money has to come in from expected and unexpected sources. That also goes for our timeline and for the, the direction where we're headed. And so it might take some unexpected twists and turns. That doesn't mean that we're off the path. We could still be on the path. 
but you know you kind of get hit from the side by something that sets you back and saying oh no now we've lost everything well the key the, the key is is what i've understood is focus it's it's mm -hmm. it's 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 focus and we get we're not able to get what we want because we're not able to hold our focus and that's actually what they have taught in the mystery schools is is how to focus because there's one instance um where rampa is giving a lesson and he was hearing people talk about how long it would take to get a $32,000 car or something. And, um, and you know, they're like, oh, it would take me seven or eight years of working or whatever. But um, there was actually people in the school that can sit for three days straight. They, they call it Paradise Beach and, uh, and can manifest like whatever they want. So like that, that's what I'm saying is money is like, is, is very, you can, you can manifest whatever you want. <laughs> Yeah, it's you're creating your own. You can really do it, and and you you, you will get uh, what what is lo known as breadcrumbs from the divine table. That's what Ramtha refers to it as, is because things will fall from the divine, the spiritual realm into your world, and and you will see that it's from a higher place, and and you'll you'll know that you manifested that. <laughs> right. We do. Yeah. We manifest a lot more, and the people that I try to discourage people from going into those dark places for long periods of time because you're manifesting. You know. That's how powerful we are. Um, I've I've learned how to you know through meditation how to, uh, you know, master my thoughts and 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 create thought. Um, so um, that has helped me uh, uh, in 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 being able to create thought. And so if we bring it back to you, like the political issue and and when um, that whole thing came up with the D Dominion voting and and the, the, the insane um, mishandling of of the election. Um, it's almost like you could have a whole nation just flight. You know, I remember just watching and they were already making a decision in California before they even put in all the votes. <laughs> like, all right, definitely something wrong here. And so, you know, you knew that it was like a takeover, you know, a complete um, mishandling and um, a control system. But the energy of the people, which was at a very high place, just dropped. I could feel it. And it was almost like to try to bring people back up. It was really hard. And we just went through this huge roller coaster of events. And every now and then people would get deflated again. And so then they were content with hearing almost an illusion of happiness just to pull themselves out or, you know, maybe stay there, which isn't healthy either. Dealing with the reality of truth just like anything in your life you know it's like um you know that there's something not right in your life ignoring it doesn't make it go away but focusing in on the positive outcome and then dealing with the problems along the way you have to do it that way in order for it to work the the key that i just know the key is focus and and that's what i've been uh focusing on is just the 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 best outcome for for humanity myself the optimal uh timeline trajectory i know i've been doing this for years now just like uh throughout all, through i just have been you know focused on um the best future and and so that's i don't really know anything else because i'm not even thinking about anything else <laughs> You know what I'm going to do right now is um, I'm going to open something up here. We're going to go in. Um, so this is your book. Yes, that is it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, where can people find this? Well, right now I'm getting it uh, re-published uh, uh, through a different um, publisher. And they've they've redesigned the cover, which is this is an amazing cover. I'm just like this is uh, exactly what I wanted to uh, display because I mean just the reincarnation concept and uh, you know the the being a Knight Templar, what the Knight Templars represented, which is you know Gnostic belief, um, is is just represented in that cover. And also Son of the Morning, I, I called it Son of the Morning for 
couple re- different reasons, but uh, one of the reasons was when um, I came across the Emerald Tablets of Toth, um, I was reading the book Awakening to Zero Point by Greg Braden because um, this Awakening to Zero Point is what's going to be important for humanity because Zero Point is basically Zero Point. Uh, there's no thought, no no emotion, no nothing. That That's what Zero Point is. And um, I, I found the Emerald Tablets of Toth through Zero Point or, 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 or through Awakening to Zero Point. And when I found the Emerald Tablets of Toth, um, that awoken me to the existence of Atlantis and, um, you know, all the the, the priest um, hood, um, you know, teachings there. But um, one of the parts he says uh, in, in the Emerald Tablets is, and, and he's giving a prophecy, he's like, uh, when man shall conquer the, uh, the, the, the wings like birds, and harness the lightning, uh, then shall the time of great warfare begin. Um, he's, he said, you know, uh, there will be a battle betwixt the forces, uh, but then will come forth the sons of the morning, giving their edict to the children of men, telling them to stop striving against thy brother. Only thus you can come to the light. So I called it sun in the morning because I woke up to obviously being one of the, the, um, the sun in the mornings, <laughs> you know, that he's speaking about one of the reawakened, um, enlightened ones, um, that has the knowledge, uh, to be able to guide us into, uh, a, a, a better future, uh, uh, you know, which is actually our past. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. Cause, uh, you know, at first I looked at it and it could be interpreted the, the Bible refers to the morning star or a sun of the morning, um, in, in, as, some people reference it as Jesus, some people reference it as Lucifer, but it's actually can be um, applied to both, which is really weird. It's, I That's also named it Son of the Morning too. I also named it Son of the Morning too because because of Lucifer, because Lucifer is misunderstood, and Lucifer is actually not it has nothing to do with Satan. They're do, they're two different. Um, yes, correct. Angels. No. Lucifer is was God's god's first angel you know <laughs> yeah like um so that that's why i also called it son of the morning too yeah the, you're absolutely correct because he talks about satan later and that's and there's many satans to be honest with you and in my opinion there's been many um beings that would cover that that role you know or taken on that role and it's part of our experience to go through that what I've understood too about Satan and the adversary is like a lot. It's also misunderstood, like what evil is, and like evil isn't so much like this dark, you know, like the like they show on on TV, um, you know, this like evil, like with de- like it's more of a like a psychological manipulation, you know, like Satan is actually he's not this like like a, you know, this this demon with horns. He's he's like this super psychological manipulator businessman type guy you know that that's more of a accurate portrayal you know from what i understand yeah i was um that's interesting you said that i heard about that reference as well but you um if you look into the astral though those beings with the horns do exist those are the yeah. hybrids yeah, yeah i know yeah and i've I, if you dealt with the hybrids they're I mean, they're the part animal, part you know, humanoid or whatever, and and they're aggressive, very aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely know. There's on the on the astral plane. There's there's uh, definitely all sorts of dimensions. You know, I've I've been I've actually been through all of them. I actually remember a, a fight that I was in with a being, where he was knocking me through the dimensions. I was actually fighting, and I was getting hit into different dimensions. <laughs> That was that was a crazy experience. <laughs> what did he look like? You say or uh, like a uh, kind of look like a uh, I don't know if you know uh, the the movie Spawn or heard of Spawn. Um, he like he has this this uh, just a dark being with like a like a a covered up face and and like green eyes, like very demonic looking. Does he have pointed ears? 
Let, let Spock, me, no, he, he just he just has like this this black face, you know. <laughs> this is the movie Spawn. It's called. Yeah. Let me just take a look at him. But uh, I I definitely uh, had a experience fighting that, and and we were going through some sort of dimensional battle. Like I I remember getting hit through into different dimensions and. That was that was that was crazy. But he also, to me, he looks a little bit like a soldier, or yeah, like that was it. that was it. He, he is a soldier, so I was I, I could have been fighting uh, another super soldier too because I've had those experiences. Yeah, yeah, I've seen like a lot of different. You know, we've we've dealt with like Slender Man all the way to. Um, uh, all different the, the pan creatures i thought it might have been one of those pan creatures where they literally have little pointed ears they're uh usually kind of like a dark gray colored skin tone okay <laughs> and they show up every now and then and they're very tricky and and they could fit the whole you know the devil uh platform you know as, as far as the way they look but there's more than one of them so yeah, there's a variety of things out there, and um, people don't know. You, a lot of this stuff has been, you know, dealt with or battled with, and and they also um, enslave humanity. Right, right, yeah, yeah they're, they're they're part of uh, the enslavement. They're you know, um, and and that's why I understand like through, um, you know, the ascension process is it, that 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 allows you to uh, get out to escape the Demarouge. To escape uh, the the place where they have control, right? Yeah, and, and when you start entering into that arena of spirituality, those things show up. It's kind of like if you ever watched like uh, the story of Bruce Lee and how he's going through his process, and then he starts fighting the, this um, uh, what was it, a dragon or um, something that keeps haunting him. And then he get he he engages with it, yeah. That's part of the process. It sounds a lot like Lamptus teachings because you know, in conquering yourself is is all about conquering your your demons, and and so <laughs> I, yeah. I I know the process. The uh, the little areas where you're actually, um, uh, we make agreements in in all many of our different lifetimes. And sometimes those agreements are enslavement, a type of enslavement, or um, entities that were kind of moving through certain people. And so through worshiping maybe someone that was we thought was a god and wasn't, or uh, someone that was um, in a government and we had to swear an oath or whatever, whatever lifetime that was. And when you start going through your spiritual process, you have to actually free yourself from all those different entanglements that you have and then you can feel this huge like liberation you know it's an expansion because uh, you're no longer restricted bound or, or tied in any way to that experience i'm still i'm still working on all my stuff but i i've learned like letting go is is one of the the key you know parts of being free is letting go of things so yeah, you have to. Yeah, it's kind of letting go and also understanding and learning, which you know comes back to what we were talking about earlier. So, um, Anthony Zender, is there any last? No, that that's it's it's been really good uh, to to talk. Um, you know, during this time, especially uh, with somebody that that has more of an understanding of of what's happening, and um, I just uh, it's been a while since I've done an interview. Um, I'm I'm getting ready for my book to come out. Um, so, like, what I what I I'm I'm really getting ready for for that to uh, to to talk about that, like on a on a and on a public level, like, and then I'll I'll obviously be talking about all of this um, on a public level, like as as many places as I can, like off the internet because the internet is 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 one thing, but actually going places. And speaking yeah. about things is, is another. So I'm going to actually. It happens though, because the last time I the last time I talked about my book, like, um, I actually got my my book published and then I set up a stand um, to talk about it in public. And then an agent approached me, um, you know, uh, this this guy comes out of nowhere 
And then he sets up a drone right in front of uh, uh, my stand where I'm where I'm selling my book. And then he starts flying the drone right in front of my uh, stand because he was distracting uh, everybody because he was trying to stop me from selling my book. So <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what happens with uh, uh, this this, you know, tour that I'm going to go on. But I, they're not going to stop me. <laughs> Well, you know, you realize, you know, some of these people are still in that program of of obeying and feeling threatened by, you know, anything that other people are doing. And and and, and so as you're doing, like, what was that? I said and anything outside of the system, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And he didn't really probably understand why he was doing it. A lot mm -hmm. of times they're, they're going into that mode. But as you clear, it says everything is on the inside and, and within you, you know, you start clearing that and uh, you'll have less obstruction. So it'd be the right timing and everything, too, as the uh, people are becoming more awakened. Right. I think it is. I feel like it is. So I'm, I'm ready to to because this is what I've been uh, working for my whole life. You know, uh, training, everything is is talking about this, you know. Um, the, everything that we've been talking about, bringing it to the public, is my mission. <laughs> it sounds really positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. I think I think that it hasn't, uh, changed. it hasn't it hasn't changed over the years. You know what I've always known has been has been positive, and that's what I've been working towards. Uh, so I know it's for a reason too. <laughs> well, Anthony, I, I appreciate your sharing your your information. Also, your journey, I think a lot of people can learn some of the things that you've gone through. I mean, we talk about being a super soldier. I think that's only one level of it. You have to have this other spiritual aspect to be able to like, be able a to super soldier. What I found out isn't like who I am, you know, you know, that that's just one part of who yes. I am. Like, I'm still learning who I am, you know, um, beyond all that, that other stuff, like spiritually. So. That's what I know part of my journey is healing and stuff is learning who I am and then being that like expressing that out in the, the world. And that's why your book is important, because that's going to help people to understand some of the processes that you went through. And I mean, everyone has their own individual path, but it's it's interesting to see how people come mm -hmm. to the realizations. And uh, so that's why I'm more than happy to share your information here. And, thank, uh, you. thank you, Jessica. I appreciate that. And I, I definitely, um, you know, it's an honor to actually be part of the ACIO, you know, with you and Peter um, throughout this whole, you know, experience since we've known each other. You know, there have been groups that have risen and fallen and all sorts of stuff going on in the community, you know, but but this is our our connection has remained and, and it will remain, we know, because, um, you know, what we're, what we're a part of so i'm i'm honored to be part of uh you know the acio and and uh with with you unit 374 as well i am i am too i'm very very happy that i can contribute to help to the greater cause of humanity mm -hmm. and um, i appreciate all the soldiers i know that what everyone's been through individually but also there's uh, those in the background too that are supportive of us and we appreciate that and so um you know when you're ready to to launch and go out and share with the public um you come back and visit again or or another topic whatever you will yeah. want to that talk sounds about. like a plan. that sounds like a plan until, okay. until next time <laughs> all right well thank you everyone for listening today we appreciate your time and and um, and I also remind you to subscribe for whatever shows that are coming up, as well as, uh, you know, continue to support us on Patreon. We appreciate your help. And and uh, when Anthony's book comes up, we'll let you know about it so you can purchase that. You have a great day and thank you for listening. You have been listening to Androna Talks Radio. Join us on YouTube channel Jessica Errol Morocco and visit her website at www.readingsbyarial.com.